Well, Ellsworth has done it again. Can't believe this, man. How's it going, everybody, once again? My name is Mr. Champ Gamer. And I'm back with another video here for you today. These are SmackDown December 6th reactions. We start off the show with AJ Styles. I was hoping for AJ Styles to knock out James Ellsworth and put him back in the hospital. But unfortunately, he have a, apparently has a foot injury. Um, so that match was canceled. So Ellsworth came out and told him, why are you trying to dodge me, you know? Because I am 3-0 and against you, and I will go 4-0 and against you tonight. Yeah, right. So then, Dean Ambrose has come out and hit the dirty deeds on James Ellsworth. And James Ellsworth tried to shake his hand. What do you think is going to happen, man? Um, so later on tonight, um, no, I messed up. I'll get to that later. So, up next we have the WWE Tag Team Championship rematch between Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton and Heath Slater and Rhino. Bray Wyatt and, Heath Sl and Randy Orton picked up the win. Um, Bray Wyatt was going to do a Sister Abigail on Heath Slater and he f tagged in Orton and he fed Randy Orton to Heath. Well, he fed Heath Slater to Randy Orton into an RKO. One, two, three, still tag team champions, Randy and Bray. Okay, so I don't really, this ain't really a match, but it's Carmella versus Natalia. It ended in a draw. Um, Carmella said Natalia is the one who attacked Nikki Bella um, at Survivor Series, and that's why um, she. Nikki Bella didn't compete at t at a Survivor Series. I believe that 100% because I even said she did it because she was jealous that she wasn't in the rat. She was the man, the coach. <laughs> Again, ignore that. I don't know why it does that, but um, they went into the back. Nikki Bella was standing there, and Nikki Bella, I mean, apparently Natalia was <laughs> tired, and Nikki Bella just ran up storm, ran off storming, um, so then we have, wait, what is it, oh, the Ascension taking on the Hype Bros, the Hype Bros will pick up the victory with the, the rough, like, the rough bro rider, Whatever, but they pick up the win. The Ascension apparently wears face paint now. What are they trying to be? The like Usos? Demolition? You name it. But Hype Bros picks up the win. Alright, we move on to Miz TV. His special guest, Dean Ambrose. Out of here, Dean Ambrose's music three times tonight. Um... But, uh, anyways, The Miz had to keep running his mouth until he pissed off Dean Ambrose and Dan O'Brien would come out and put him in a number one contender's match. Well, number one contender. A WWE Intercontinental Championship match for the main event, Miz and Ambrose. And that's where the video started. So, we move on to Kalisto versus Baron Corbin. And what an ending to this match. An end of days out of nowhere. Kalisto was on top of the turnbuckle. or well, the top rope went to do a tornado DDT. Baron Corbin caught him. End of days and Corbin wins. And it was speed. And Corbin said he swats anything. And he swatted him. A fly today. All right. Chad Gable versus Tyler Breeze. A pointless matchup here. Chad Gable picks up the win. 
nothing. Oh, the funniest thing. Fandango tripped over the camera wire. Not once, but twice. <laughs> and completely botched the whole entire thing. It's the funniest thing tonight. But anyways, we have Alexa Bliss is celebration as women's champion for SmackDown. And Becky Lynch interrupted it. And they were arguing. And I think they're having a rematch next week. I don't know. But they're supposed to fight tonight. And Alexa Bliss did it. Because she would know Becky Lynch would take the championship back. Um. So that brings me to the main event. Dean Ambrose versus The Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. And again... I'm just going to skip to the end. Dean Ambrose was on the top rope. And the Miz was on the top rope. And Ambrose knocked down the Miz into the ref. And the referee just hit on his knees. And Maurice came up and pushed Ambrose with he'll hit his crotch on the ropes. And just doesn't make sense. James Ellsworth comes out and says, why are you doing that to Ambrose? And of course, James Ellsworth got on top of the apron. Dean Ambrose rolled up the Miz for like a 10 second pinfall. <sighs> Dumbass Ellsworth. No chin looking ass. Oh, and <laughs> AJ Styles also said he Dean Ambrose is going to punch in Ellsworth's face and make it look dented in like his chin. <laughs> it's a fun, oh my god. But, uh, Ellsworth distracted the referee, and, I don't know, by accident, and Ambrose looked at him like this, and Miz would do the skull cushion finale and pick up the win to retain the Intercontinental Championship, and Ellsworth will be, will run off with JBL laughing behind him, but, I just can't take Ellsworth anymore. I wanted his shirt for Christmas. But no, he was my he was going to be my my favorite on SmackDown. But not anymore. So thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you liked this video, hit that like button, subscribe now if you haven't already yet. Next week is gonna be busy. I got Monday Night Raw, SmackDown Live, and Tribute to the Troops on Wednesday. But until then, subscribe now if you haven't already yet. Become a champion today, and I'll see you in the next one.